Hey everyone, I hope everyone is doing good. If you looked at the title, I know you're looking at this video like, what is going on? Y'all, I, I did it. I combed out my locks. Um, I combed out my locks. Let me tell y'all, I started my lock journey April 16th, 2020, in the middle of the pandemic. It was so unique because I actually had to go, um, I actually had to go to my stylist house because of COVID. So everything was like shut down and um, I talked to her on the phone. She was really sweet. I saw her work. I loved it. And I was like, yeah. So she allowed me to come to her house. So that's what I did. And I started my locks. Um, and I just want to say that it was such a beautiful experience. Um, I had my locks for four years and I enjoy the different phases. And I feel like locks really teach you to love yourself and to really just appreciate the journey and the different stages in life, y'all. Because locks are not for the weak. If you want your hair to look neat all the time, locks are not for you because they are a natural hairstyle. So your roots, they bush out, they get bushy. Like if you have a looser texture hair, like I have a looser texture hair, you know, sometimes your hair would stick up. I would just form like little curls. Um, it was a beautiful journey. And what wound up happening was in the fourth year, my hair got really long. Like, I am going to put pictures so you all can see, but I had hair, like, all the way down my back. It was like my hair grew like nobody's business. Um, it was very long. It was very healthy. The reason why I combed it out, and here's my bag, y'all. I have, like, a whole bag. Look at all of this hair. Look at all of this hair. This was in my hair and I got a couple of my locks blonde that's why you see the blonde but I had all of this in my hair um y'all look at this um and I grew it and it was pretty um but it started getting really really heavy on my head and it was to the point where it was getting uncomfortable like if I didn't have a bonnet on in and, and and you are supposed to have a bonnet. But sometimes I would misplace it. I would lose it. We've all been there. And I would like sleep on it. Bro, my neck would hurt so bad. On top of my hair, it was starting to feel like on my scalp, it started to feel a little raw. Like it was just getting heavy. And my hairstylist was like, well, I can trim it for you. But I didn't want to trim it. I wanted my hair to look long like Rapunzel it was beautiful locks are beautiful and the thing that I love about locks is that everybody's locks look different nobody's locks look the same and people would always ask me like are those like your real locks or are those fake locks because you have like curls in like no that's just that was just my hair but I decided to comb it out I'm gonna show y'all what I did I had a spray bottle this spray bottle with just water and then I used the Shea Moisture, which this was like the second bottle. The Shea Moisture Strengthen and Restore Conditioner. I used this. So I would spray the lock. I would get the conditioner. I would lather it out. And I took this exact comb. I know some people bought like 10 combs. I broke the first one and then I used this one and it was fine. And I took the end of the lock and I would just pick at it. And then I would just comb through it. And all this hair came out. Y'all, when my hair, when I was combing it out, I thought I was about to be like, I, like I thought, cause it was so much hair coming out. I thought that I would have like no hair on top of my head. Now I'm gonna show you all, you all will see pictures of how my hair looks curly. It stops about like right here, which I don't care because I don't know. I just don't, it's just hair, it will grow back. But um, I saw how other people were retaining length but they had a thicker hair they had a more coily hair so their hair was i guess maybe a little bit stronger than mine y'all they retained so much length i did not if y'all see all of this hair that was on my head like bro this is a lot of hair and it's still some like in the bag it was insane 
but I just took it out and it took me almost a week. I think it took me like six days. So the first lock that I did, it took me over an hour, okay? And then I was like, okay, well, you know, I could do two, okay? Then the next day, you know, okay, well, I could do three. And then sometimes I will be up to like three o'clock in the morning. My husband would be like, what are you doing? I'm like, I got to take out my hair. I'm spraying, I'm combing it out, I'm picking it out. And I was going to have somebody else take them out, but it was so expensive. I was like, nah, I can do this myself. Plus, you know, it's like a journey. I am going to get my hair trimmed because... I'm not a beautician. I need somebody that knows what they're doing to trim my hair. So my hair appointment is coming up. This is my hair. Y'all see my little baby. I have like such like a baby um, curly little bun. But y'all, I just want to say if you want to get locks, get them. Don't, don't, don't pay any mind what anybody has to say. They're beautiful. It's a beautiful journey. Y'all, it's just something about a woman with healthy locks. Um, and I was like the most basic, simple person. I would get my hair retwisted every two months. I would put in um, this oil, and I'm gonna show you this oil. I will put in this oil that I sell. I would spray my hair with water I would um, also put in this floral hair water and put this oil in. And y'all, my hair grew like a weed. Everybody was like, what are you doing? What are you doing? This is what I put in. I make the oil and I put it in. I put the, the floral hair water in, spray it in, put the oil in, call it a day. Sometimes I would leave or I would put in the um, the cream of nature. I forget what it's called. It's like the cream of nature. I didn't really know that it's, um, they had like the little leave-in spray. Sometimes I would spray that in and I would just go and my hair would grow. Um, and my hair was very, very healthy. It just got too heavy. But I want to tell you that if you want to get locks, get locks. I love the experience. It really embraced natural beauty like it's no hiding with locks when i see women and they have their makeup done or they have like their lashes done and they just look so beautiful and natural and like earthy i'm just like yes i love it um and i really enjoyed my experience like i said um my hair texture is just a little bit more soft so it just got a little bit too heavy for me that's the only reason why i combed them out if I, if that wasn't the case, I would have kept them in longer. I probably would have kept them in another couple of years just because it was just a wonderful experience. But if you want to do it, go ahead and do it. Or if you feel like that you're watching this movie, not this movie, this um, video, because you want to calm them out, calm them out. It's, it's nothing wrong with change. Embrace change. Embrace every step. Every step is beautiful. Um... I'm going to rock my hair natural. You'll probably see me with some braids. Or you may see me later down the line with like a silk press or something. But y'all, I'm just like a natural girly. I'm not really into like the weave and except for the braid and hair. I'll do the braid and hair. But like the wigs and stuff, that's not really my thing. I'll just wear my curly hair. Um, I don't have the thickest hair, but I don't have the thinnest hair either. I just... I, I, like, I don't know. I'm just a natural hair type of gal. That's just the vibe that I'm on. Um, and I've kind of always been that way. Um, and if you want to know, like, why I say that or why I don't do that, then you can let me know in a separate video and I'll let you know. But yeah, y'all, that was my journey. You will see the pictures on the video coming up. Um, that is why... I combed them out and it took me almost a week and I would just watch movies and I would just go to town y'all I would be up three some in the morning just combing them out combing them out you do have to be patient I probably should have recorded me combing them out but I was just so in the zone like it's videos on here that will show you how to comb them out but y'all I just want to say just be patient and don't be afraid of change like it doesn't matter if your hair is this short or if it's hair all the way down your back, y'all, it will grow. I promise you it will grow. Um, I believe in putting natural things 
more into, you know, like your hair. I love the Shea Moisture brand. I know some people be like, oh, that brand ain't all that, this that. But I personally like it. I don't like all of their lines in their brand because some of their stuff just is just too strong. Like they had like a protein treatment, which I was told I've been doing that um, every week, just putting in a protein um, hair mask and I'll leave it in for like an hour and wash it out. Um, but she was just protein line. I just didn't like the smell. It smelled like perfume. I was like, oh, gross. I do like the, um, the Jamaican black castor oil. And I did use this when I had locks. When I had locks and I would have to wash my hair, I would use this. I would use the shampoo and this conditioner and my hair was fine. Um, the things that I don't miss about having locks, I'm going to be totally honest, is when I would wash them, my hair would feel so heavy. It felt like somebody was pulling on it. And that's the reason why I combed it out. My hair felt so heavy on my scalp. And I think a part of it too is that my hair just got so long. Um, it felt like somebody was pulling on it and I was getting headaches and I would put it in a ponytail and I was getting headaches. Or sometimes, you know, even if I did like a half up, half down, um, I was getting headaches and it's just like, what is going on? And then sometimes it just, it, it just, it just felt uncomfortable. Like even if it was just down and if I did something or rubbed against it, or if I accidentally like sat on it or leaned on it, it just felt too heavy. And that's when I knew that I had to calm it out. Um, I don't have any spots or anything like that. Thank, you know, thank God, praise God. But it was just a beautiful journey. And I want to tell y'all, no matter what you do, whether you have your hair natural, whether you have it, you know, in a protective hairstyle, or whether you like to, you know, rock wigs or weeds, I'm not knocking anybody. I'm just saying just love you and just embrace it. Embrace you, embrace who you are, embrace what you like, okay? I know a lot of people will be like, oh yeah, I love your locks, but I can never do that. Y'all, I didn't care. I spray in water a leave in put some oil in i'll be out the door i'll lay my edges as long as my edges look like hair sticking up everywhere sometimes i would curl it sometimes i wouldn't y'all i did not care i just love feeling free i love feeling like i could just get up and go it was very convenient um you do have to take care of them if y'all want to see more videos because i don't want to make this too long but if y'all want to see more videos let me know i'm also going to try to vlog when I get my hair trimmed. Um, cause I do have like a finer texture here. Um, the reason why I say finer is that my hair does not look thick at all when it's wet, but when it dries, it just puffs out. I have that. So I have like a 3A kind of 3B hair. Um, but let me know if y'all wanna see that. I love y'all. Let me know if you have any questions down below, like, let me know. All right, I'll see y'all later. Bye.